Experts say a crisis is looming in healthcare staffing with hundreds of thousands of nurses planning to exit the workforce. Arman Rahman sat down with leaders at UW Health's residency program to see how that may turn the tide for the next generation of nurses. Arman? Eric, we're used to hearing about staffing shortages recently, but a report by the National Council of State Boards of Nursing really puts it into a stark perspective. Roughly 800,000 nurses intend to quit by 2027, citing stress, burnout, and retirements, and 188,000 of them are under the age of 40. A lot of nurses quit in the first like year of starting. But John Freiberg is not one of them. I don't really see myself going anywhere for a while. A fact he largely owes to UW Health's nursing residency that he just completed last month. I think a big part is, you know, like the skills and being able to like kind of ease into being a nurse. But a lot of it is just having people there to support you. The 12 month program is one of 47 in the country. Residents learn clinical skills with existing nurses and every month take a different class with a group of their peers. Many nursing schools had to change dramatically during the pandemic and they weren't able to have hands-on skills the way that nurses are typically prepared. And so we wanted to kind of overcome that gap. Last year, the hospital hired 200 nurses and so far this year, 54 have started. Residency leaders say they've had to adapt not just the training, but the support systems. Well, I think we've seen more anxiety, less confidence in their skills. You're sitting there and you're thinking like, like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to get to a point where I'm going to be able to be a nurse like on my own without having anyone watch over me? Because it goes without saying, it's a hard job that's causing stress, early retirement, and burnout. Right now I'm working on the burn unit. You can find areas that you're good with and also be grateful for nurses that are doing things you're maybe not so comfortable with. And it's caused a shortage of thousands of nurses during the pandemic. Experts in Wisconsin say they haven't seen in over a decade. Nurses have really broad and in-depth training, so they can fill a lot of roles on the healthcare team. So when there's a shortage, we really feel that impact in terms of access. And hundreds of thousands more have their foot out the door. The best way we can impact that is to keep them in the profession. And so that's where having a program to understand their needs and to support them is very, very important. Experts say the staffing shortages in hospitals have already led to longer wait times and making acute care like nursing homes almost impossible to find.